Hello Taurus and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone, take what resonates for you. So a little bit later than usual, I've been doing the yearly 2024 tarot readings which took a lot of energy and time, but they're done now so do check out yours. And in the meantime, let's see what we have for you for the week. Message for our Victorians, thank you. So we have three cards. The Ten of Pentacles, King of Swords, can be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, male or female, or the energy of the card. We can also adopt the energy of the court cards too. And we have Judgment. We have the Four of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, so King and Queen of Swords here, could be a relationship. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Swords. The Death card. We have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, and we have the Three of Cups. Let's pull a card for Judgment. Let's pull a card for Judgment, thank you, for Taurus. The Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing and Orchestration. Two of Swords, yeah, I mean, it feels like there's going to be some kind of decision to make here, potentially weighing up a decision. And it's whether the Wheel of Fortune can be that sense of life cycles. It can represent that energy of, of transmutable energy of endings and beginnings, as I always say with that card, and it feels that kind of energy. It feels like you're going to make some kind of choice or a decision here, Taurus, in whether you want to stay on the cycle that you want or whether you do want to do something differently. But judgment is attached to this, which generally means that uh, you are choosing whether you give somebody another chance or a second chance, really depending on whether someone's coming back into your life that something might have ended before and something someone's coming back into your life. Or this could be about an existing relationship and this is whether you stay on the path that you want or you make the changes. Generally with the Two of Swords, we... We kind of, deep down, we know what we need to do with our instinctive energy. Even though we're kind of like stuck in our mind sometimes, even though it's a difficult situation to deal with, this definitely feels like um, you're at that point where you're making some significant decision on what the right thing to do is. And it would be whether this person is your long-term person or whether you can get potentially a long-term relationship back on solid footing, solid ground, or whether you don't. I mean, this feels like whether they're returning from the past or whether they're currently in your life, it looks like there is some significant choice or decision to make. But it's generally in truth. This feels like about a relationship here. Because again, the, the Three of Cups can be that coming together, potential reuniting. Let's have a look at the three of the, sorry the knight of swords. I don't know why I said the three of swords. I feel that maybe some hurt or 
emotional pain has been caused by this person. Which is why you're stuck. Or it can be a painful situation to deal with, you know. Sometimes that's why we don't want to look at things. Let's see what we have with the Knight of Swords. Two of Wands. Yeah, there's a choice to make or a decision. The, the Two of Wands can be when we're at that kind of crossroads. Now, if this is somebody returning to your life, you're wondering whether you want to take the risk. There is communication, and that could be someone, you know, all of a sudden someone communicating you. Something might have ended before, and there could be new communication coming in. This could also be a conversation in an existing relationship as well. Either way, if it's from someone coming back into your life, this would be you're wondering whether to take the risk on them or not, or whether you're happy as you are. Alternatively, if it's to do with a relationship that exists, this would be, do I step into the unknown? Do I stay or go? Uh, so again, crossroads energy with the two of wands. There is, and it's to do with the communication that you're having this week. Because the four of pentacles, it generally represents that sense of self-preservation. Um, not really kind of like... Uh, protecting yourself can also be financial as well with the four of pentacles but protecting your own stability protecting your heart your head you know um what you move forward towards you know all of this energy is is you're kind of like uh not sure whether to give to a person anymore uh because it's self-preservation and self-protection here You could be dealing with some truth, whichever side of the fence you're on. Um, Queen of Swords energy gets to the very truth of a situation for what it is. This could also be someone communicating with you. Then there will be some choice or decision in terms of whether you end something or not. The Death card can be a card of endings. Out with the old, in with the new. Shedding of an old skin. It's all part of our rebirth and significant change that we sometimes decide that we're ready for. Um, similarly here, if something already ended... It might well be a, a decision in terms of do I wipe the slate clean or not, you know, can we start over? So these are the kind of decisions and choices that you're making. But with the King and Queen of Swords, it's all about getting to the truth of a situation, doing the right thing by you in truth, and looking at things uh, the way they are, not necessarily how we want them to be, you know, rose tinted glasses here. This is absolutely getting to the very heart of the matter here to make decisions and choices. And that is the energy, the Ten of Swords. Again, if something ended before and there's an opportunity for a second chance to reunite with somebody, this may well be your choice in terms of whether you want to give somebody another chance or not, give it another go. Sometimes there's unfinished business. Um, and surrender whatever happened in the past and give it another go. Similarly here, again, this can also be in existing relationships, can we turn something around or do I end this? And it's to do with coming together with somebody again. Um, also very good, the Three of Cups in terms of advice from friends or family. Uh, either way, it, it feels here, you're wondering where your long-term, if this person is your long-term committed relationship, there could also be other people to consider in the mix. Um, so that's why you're being really careful with your heart, your head, how you're moving forward, what you're giving to in a situation. But it definitely feels here that you're kind of weighing up. Two of Swords is, is weighing up. Uh, sometimes we need a little bit more information. But really this is, for me as a reader, think less, feel more. With the Two of Swords, we generally already have an intuitive pull in a particular direction. Sometimes it's not always easy to take that blindfold off and face the truth of the situation, whether we're being truly honest with ourselves and whether, whether we want to give something another go or not. It's in truth. Uh, but it's about trusting your instinct in this situation and facing the thing that might well be difficult to face this week. So that's what I have for you. It really is a card of, of think less and feel more because there's a strong energy of deep down you already know what you need to do. 
But if you need more time to make a decision as well, if somebody is pushing you, again, the Two of Swords can actually be sometimes when we need to wait for a little bit more information um, that we're comfortable in making decisions. So however this resonates with you, it's what you intuitively feel you need to do. But, you know, the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, these are very guarded energies. So I feel that you're very guarded right now, whichever way. And you need to come to the conclusion when you're ready. These are for a week, really. So quite a short space of time. We have motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. That's what I have for you, Taurus, for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.